Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here, and today we are going to look at the legendary master of posing, Ed Corney, and his Mr. Olympia routine. Ed Corney will always be remembered as the master poser with his majestic, artistic, and dramatic style of posing, which hypnotized and electrified the crowds during the golden era of bodybuilding as he fluidly moved from one classical pose into the next. His transitions are still a sight to be seen and truly beautiful. It is no wonder that the crowds back then went absolutely wild when Ed would take to the stage. Bodybuilding to him was pure art and he expressed it as an art. Ed Corney loved bodybuilding and had established a strong muscle-mind connection, which he says he learned from Arnold Schwarzenegger having lived with him for three months prior to the 1975 Mr. Olympia in Pretoria, South Africa. He, like Arnold, would focus on always having a positive mindset and keeping negative thoughts out of his mind as it would impede his concentration and the task at hand. He enjoyed handling heavy poundages in his workouts, however, he would always choose a weight that would allow him to execute the required amount of reps in each set. Ed Corney's routine would have him train six times a week, whether in the off-season or at contest time. The main difference being that he would vary his intensity and, for example, train just eight sets per body part in the off-season, but would train up to 20 sets per body part at contest time. Regardless of whether it was off-season or contest time, Ed Corney usually would train three to four exercises per body part. Ed Corney also considers himself an instinctive trainer during his competitive years and having learned to understand his body as a professional bodybuilder would therefore rely on his feelings to know what to get from his workouts. Ed Corney would train each body part three times a week as was common with many bodybuilders during the golden era and would train abs, chest, shoulders, biceps and forearms on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, working legs, calves, back, triceps and abs again on Tuesday, Thursday and Saturdays, taking the Sunday off. His training style would also vary during the year where during off season he would be after mass and handling heavier poundages and so would use a more loose exercise form, whilst during contest time, he would focus more on keeping the movement strict as he would have already achieved the mass he needed. Ed Corney's diet prior to competition was your typical high protein, high fat diet from the golden era. And although he did eat carbs in the off season, he would cut them down to 50 grams per day or lower prior to contest time. Throughout the year during the off season, Ed Corney's protein intake was about 200 grams daily and his carbs intake was about 150 grams daily. And this would actually be reduced down to 160 grams of protein and as low as 25 grams of carbs right before a contest. Ed Corney, like most golden era bodybuilders, would also rely on supplements, including the common staples such as desiccated liver, free form amino acids, multivitamins and minerals, as well as a vitamin B, C and E complex and kelp, which is high in iron, which helps speed up the metabolism and fat utilization. Normally his breakfast would consist of three eggs and a quarter pound of meat, some fruit and coffee and supplements. For lunch he would eat half a pound of meat or fish or poultry, half a cup of cottage cheese, some coffee and more supplements. He would then typically have an afternoon snack of three soft boiled eggs mixed with four ounces of tuna and some coffee and for dinner another half pound of meat, fish or poultry, a baked potato, a big green salad and some supplements. Following his Ed Corney's Mr. Olympia routine, on Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays, he would train chest, shoulders, biceps, calves and abs, whilst Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays were spent working out the legs, calves, back, triceps and abdominals. To train chest, Ed Corney would perform the barbell bench press, followed by the incline bench press, the dumbbell flies and cable crossovers, each for 5 sets of about 8 to 12 repetitions. For shoulders, he would move on to performing the one arm lateral raise, followed by the shrug and half lateral raise, which is a combination exercise which he had great faith on, and followed by dumbbell presses and lying lateral raises, 
each again for five sets and you can see that he used eight to ten repetitions for each. Ed Corney would then train his biceps performing the regular barbell curl, the concentration curl, the alternate dumbbell curl and the close grip barbell curl standing, again performing five to six sets of anywhere between six to ten repetitions. This would then be followed by calves performing standing toe raises on the machine, going quite heavy one day and light the next, and then seated calf raises again on a machine, performing six sets for each exercise. Finally, he would train his abdominals doing giant sets consisting of leg raises, twists, crunches and sit-ups for six cycles working for the burn. The following day, Ed Corney would start his training by working legs, that is, uh, performing parallel squats, thigh extensions on the machine, and leg curls, performing each exercise for six sets with the repetitions listed. He would then move over to working the back, performing the bent over barbell row while standing on a bench, as most golden era bodybuilders did back then, performing it for five sets, then moving on to the wide grip pull down on the lap machine, T bar rows, and chins. And again, he would perform typically five to six sets of each of these movements with the repetitions listed. Finally, he would move on to triceps, performing one arm dumbbell extensions, lap machine press downs, lying French presses, and close grip presses. Again, performing five to six sets of anywhere between eight to 10 repetitions. And again, repeat his calf and abdominals workout. And as I mentioned before, performing his calf routine this time with a lighter weight. He would alternate one day going heavy and the second day going light. And therefore on the heavy day, he would use somewhere between eight to 10 repetitions. And on the second day going lighter, he would perform up to 25 repetitions for each set. After his workouts, Ed Corney would practice posing to the music of Exodus, just like Arnold did, or to the song My Way. Even after the most difficult workouts, because Ed Corney understood that he would need the cardiovascular conditioning to be able to pose on the day of the competition. Plus, he also believed that it also helped out bring his striations and muscle separation. And this was a very common practice, by the way, amongst golden era bodybuilders, that is to actually practice posing after their workouts. And at this time as well, they would also use this time to criticize each other's weak points, which would then, of course, make them train harder the next workout. So that was Ed Corney's Mr. Olympia workout, and I do hope you have enjoyed this video along with the footage that I've shown you and these awesome photos of Ed Corney. If you have, please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so, and leave me your comments. That's it from me. This is the Golden Era Bookworm saying bye for now. Now, if you're interested in learning more about Vince Deronda's approach to bodybuilding, his principles, and all these tips of wisdom that he has, I mean, there's so much stuff that probably hasn't been proven by science, and it will take science to prove or disprove uh, Vince. But to be honest, these three books, I believe, which I call the Classic Physique Bundle, are the best books that Vince ever came out with. And they, of course, are the Wild Physique, the Master Series, and the Pro Series. Have a look at it this way. The Wild Physique, I believe, is like the ABCs of Vince Gironda's principles to bodybuilding. He teaches you the exercises and his principles. But how do you put them together? Well, the Master Series is a 14-month program of using all of these principles, all of the diets that Vince came out with, all of the exercises. And believe me, it's a brilliant, brilliant program. Many people have used it. I know I know personally a lot of uh, bodybuilders that have actually used it and uh, f made fantastic results with it. And of course, the Pro Series was a book that he came out with later on, specially targeted for uh, getting into competition. It's just the, these three books, as I call it, the Classic Physique Bundle, uh, Vince's best work, and available, of course, at www.goldenerabookum.com. Now, the Pro Series of Bodybuilding, which was targeted for professional bodybuilders, is a contains six programs, each of which go for two months each, so it's a whole year, uh, again, in preparation for competition. To support your favorite YouTube channel, please visit teespring.com slash store slash golden era bookworm for merchandise, including t-shirts, hoodies, face masks, phone cases, and much, much more. Once again, at teespring.com slash store slash golden era bookworm. Become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books 
scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding. To take full advantage of my collaboration with Old School Labs, please visit their website and choose from their marvellous range of supplements using my code BOOKWORM12. And for an entertaining look at the history of bodybuilding's supplement industry, I would highly recommend watching Subs the Movie, which I have collaborated in, available at Amazon Prime and Vimeo.